Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to find the number of connections to the PBS server. So if you would like to know how many target devices or how many devices are connected to the PBS servers in your environment, what you can do is you, you can connect to the PBS console first and once you're connected to the PBS console, go to servers and once you go to servers it will list out all the pvs servers in your environment so right now i have one pvs server and there is there is a green check mark right next to it so it means the server is up so in your in, in any real time environment you would have like you know two pvs servers four pvs servers or six pvs servers so so it depends upon the requirement so if you would like to know the number of uh, you know connections uh, right now connected to the pbs server you can find it here it says zero connections or you can just right click on pbs server uh, and you can just click on show connected devices okay when you click on show connected devices it would show the number of devices that are currently connected to this pbs server uh, to stream the operating system or the VDisk. disk Okay, so what I would like to do is as part of experiment, I would like to turn on one machine right now uh, to see how it will reflect here. Okay, so this is my target device and I'm going to start the machine. Okay, it's trying to boot up. Okay, the machine is uh, getting started. It has contacted DHCP server. It got the IP address. And then it contacts the TFTP server to download the bootstrap file. Now it's trying to load the operating system. So this target device, it doesn't have like a disk, it doesn't have a disk assigned to it, it doesn't have a hard disk. So it is actually streaming the operating system and the applications over the network that is the uh, beauty of uh, the provisioning services you don't need to have a hard drive on your uh, machine it, it just boots the operating system and the applications through the network uh, from the uh, VDisk so it's trying to boot up So these are some details. So this is the server IP. This is the uh, name of the VDisk, which is Windows Server 2012. So once this machine is booted, uh, what we can do is we can quickly go back to the provisioning server just to find out how many connections it is showing because we have booted. So so provisioning services should update this information and show the list of uh, connected devices okay it's coming up so this uh, target devices can be any operating system it can be windows 8 or windows 10 or windows 11 or linux depends upon the requirement so i will try to connect i'll just log into this machine once okay so i logged into the uh, machine successfully and i stream the vdisk over the network from the server now i would like to go back to the provisioning server now i'll go back since we have one machine right now one machine connected to the pvs server to boot the vdisk to to stream the vdisk to boot this machine so let's go back to pvs server quickly so it was showing zero before now we have streamed one machine uh, we have streamed the uh, vdisk now let's quickly refresh and see how much how many devices or how many connections it would show here okay i'm going to refresh okay now if you notice it says that there is one connection here to the pvs server so 
since we have booted the machine right now it is showing one connection okay so this is how we can check the uh, number of connections uh, to the pvs server let's do one more test let's uh, let's try to turn off this machine okay we will let's turn off the machine okay now we have turned off the uh, uh, target device uh, successfully so the pvs server should reflect it in the console in a in a few seconds so right now it was showing one right now it is showing one let's try to refresh since we have re since we have turned on the sorry turned off the uh, target device let's refresh now and see how it goes okay Okay, it seems like it hasn't been updated yet. It should take a few seconds before it uh, updates the details. Okay, seems like the machine is completely turned off at the moment. We'll just close this. Now, uh, what we can do is, Okay, we'll go back to PVS server. Right click on it. Let's right click on it and click on uh, show connected devices. It's trying to refresh. Let's see the latest information now. Okay, if you see now, if you if you notice now, it says zero. There are zero connections to the PBS server. So it means that once we turned off the uh, target device or the uh, you know uh, operating system or the machine, the PBS server is showing zero connections. So it would automatically you know reflect the number of connections to the PBS server automatically once you boot any machine. It will show one once you turn on it will show once you one once you turn off it will show zero so this is how basically you can check the number of connections to the pbs server okay i hope you find this information helpful if you have any questions please leave a comment thank you